Hello everybody, it's Aliyah. Welcome back to my channel for another reading. So today's topic is, will your person come back? Will he or she come back and when? We're going to try to get a when for you guys. First, I want to take a quick sec just to thank all of you to my lovely loyal subscribers. Thank you for your continued love and support. I appreciate you guys so much. To the new viewers, welcome. Hopefully you would resonate with me um, and um, my channel. <laughs> And um, yeah, I wanted also to thank all of you that comment, share, um, like the videos, those of you that donate to the channel, I appreciate you guys from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Um, those of you that reach out to me for personal readings as well, love you guys all, you don't know, you guys mean so much to me. So, uh, without further ado, let's just, uh, oh yeah, 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 I forget, I always forget to, to say that timestamps are in the description and in the comment sec in the comment section for those of you that are new to my channel or those of you that are new to the pick a card readings. So if you're new to the pick a card readings, you think about your person and uh, or persons and you choose a pile or piles you're drawn to. Hopefully you'll get the message that you'll get the answers to your questions. So Without further ado, let me introduce you guys to the pile so we can get started. So we have pile one, we have let go, okay? Oops, if I can get it, let go. And we have, I'll read, it, I'll read you guys later what this card um, is all about. And this is the Desert Jasper, okay? Remember, um, pay attention to your heart chakra or solar plexus where your intuition lies. So you, you choose what you intuitively you're drawn to, okay? Don't go so much on the visual, it's what you feel. What you feel is right, okay? Um, you can be drawn to more than one pile and the reason being is because you might have messages there. I, you know, I've noticed that sometimes we, we're drawn to more than one pile is because we have some message coming from a person we're not even asking about. We're not even inquiring about, such as an ex or person that's dear to us, thinking about us, a friend or whatever. So if you're drawn to more than one, watch it, watch them all. Perfect timing, we have perfect timing here. And this is the Carnelian Crystal. Last but not least, group three. We have Summer, all right? And this is uh, Jade. I was like, I went blank there for a second. Um, yeah, so please take a moment, center yourself, take a couple of deep breaths, and choose a pile of piles you're drawn to. Please go ahead and make your selection. Are we ready? If you need to pause the video, please go ahead and, and do so. Group one, welcome. If you've chosen the desert um, stone here, a uh, desert jasper stone, and we have let go. And it says here, as you surrender the need to control, your relaxed energy rapidly attracts your desires. That's beautiful. So you could see the nature here. You could see this little girl in the nest and she seems to be admiring or talking to this bird. So it's about spending time in nature. It's about going with the flow. Remember, everything has a season, right? We can rush anything. You, you plan something today, you might have to wait a few months for it to, to spring, right? So it's the same thing here. It's going with the flow. It's about trusting the process, trusting the universe as a divine plan. When I was saying that, I saw 44, which is very interesting, which is all about foundation, which is about inner power, inner strength. So, um, so yeah, it's about really letting go and letting God, basically. That's what this card is talking about. And it says here, what's interesting is that it says, as you surrender the need to control, right? Going, it's basically going with the flow. You relax energy, rapidly attracts your, your desires, which means you're going to attract what you want if you actually relax and let go and let God. Yeah. So let's see. Let's see. Let's see. What is your person? What? Is your person thinking about when they think about you? Are they thinking about you? What do they intend to do? And then we're going to see 
Well, is there going to be a reconciliation? I mean, will they come back and stop? Or reconciliation, same thing. All right, let's see. <laughs> I'm like, I just flipped it too quickly. So we have the Nine of Swords. We have the Five of Wands and the Sun. So absolutely, your person still thinks about you. I don't see them having moved on here. I'm not getting that energy. Because with the Nine, nine of Swords is a card of just really losing sleep over something, someone. It's an anxiety card, yeah? this does not look like somebody who has moved on and with the five of wands someone who's like who's very conflicted yeah what's interesting it's right between the nine of swords which is a worry card and the sun which is a happy card which is a card of clarity this is confusion and that's clarity and in the middle we have the struggle so they kind of go back and forth right they go back and forth Sometimes they think this is the right decision me to stay away or whatever and sometimes they think no, maybe I've made a mistake Maybe this is wrong. Maybe I need to reach out. So they, they have this inner dialogue inner struggle going on It could be also you might have obstacles between you guys That's keeping you guys apart or maybe that broke you guys up or that made your person distance themselves from you Maybe they think that you know Whatever these obstacles they might feel overwhelmed uh, maybe your person feels overwhelmed within this connection. Maybe that's why they kind of pulled away. Or maybe for some of you, maybe you would have walked away uh, from them as well. And maybe the worry here, should I reach out or not? Should I, should I uh, aim from this, for this new beginning or should I stay away? And what's interesting, bottom deck here, we have the, the Seven of Pentacles, which is, again, someone who's heavily contemplating, right? thinking about a lot of things, planning, um, planning their next step, how to come uh, how to come around, that kind of thing. So what are their feelings? Remember, thoughts and feelings kind of go hand in hand, but let's say for the heck of it, what do they truly feel for you? Um, let's see. Okay, we have the hermit. Again, this person is very much in their head about you. Judgment, so judgment, I feel like, this is a card, this is a card of renewal. It's a card of resurrection. So this is a card, for example, you know when you think uh, there are times in some situations we think, oh, I'm totally over my ex, right? I'm so over this person and bam, you, you see the picture, <laughs> you hear the name, you see them in person and all those feelings come and, and they flood in. And that's what happens here. They try to stay away, they try to, you know, act nonchalant, they try to act like, you know what, they don't care or whatever, they call them distant, and but they can't. You know, it's like they run away from their feelings, but their feelings always come back. And we have the hierophant here. So, you know, I feel like they've, both the judgment and the hierophant, they have a very strong attachment to you, or to the connection. They feel as though there's something special between you guys. It's it's like fated to be. There's some unfinished business between you guys. What's interesting, all three major arcana here. So they feel like this is beyond their control. Even when they try to control things, it's beyond their control. It's like they're guided to, uh, it's like, this is a connection I feel, I'm hearing they've never felt this way and they can't get away from you. Yeah, they can't get away from, from the connection, right? So, um, will they come back? Will they come back? Will they come back? Will they come back? I feel like I need to get one more card. Will they come back? Okay, Ace of Wands, the Devil, Page of Swords, and um, the Eight of Cups. What's very interesting here is that we have bottom deck, the star. I'm liking all of these. 
it could be that maybe that they're taking some time out for introspection, soul searching. They're going through a dark night of the soul, but I feel like, yes, they will come back. With the Ace of Wands here, the devil, the devil is like being tied to somebody. Oh, excuse me. I'm looking at the camera and there's, you can, you guys can see the cards. Okay, let me see. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, it's almost like they're going to be forced by the universe to return because there's unfinished business here with the judgment, the hierophant, the devil, the star, the sun. So it's like, yeah, they're taking some time out right now, but I, they're doing some soul searching, but I feel like they will return. They will return. Um, yeah. It's like they kind of pulled back towards you. They might be still watching you, okay? Either watching you if you don't have social media, they're asking about, you know, they're asking about you, getting gathering information about you. So if you have children together, they might be asking the kids, oh, what is mommy or daddy doing? <laughs> that kind of thing. Or friends, family, they're asking around about you. They're hoping for a new beginning. They feel like they feel pulled towards you. They feel pulled towards a new beginning. Give it another go. Yeah, another chance to the connection, returning, right? But I feel like right now, they're watching you from afar, even though they, they might seem far, but that not very far because they're still, they're watching you. And I feel like they will reach out. Page of Swords is a card of communication, but it's communication that's a bit delayed. So I feel like they will once they've done some introspection here, because we have a lot of introspection cards. Eight of Cups, the Hermit, Seven of Pentacles, and the Nine of Swords. So we have, let me see. Mm. Let, me, let, me, let me get some oracles. Let me, let me get some oracle cards here. Let me get, let's see. Let me get a couple of women's angels. Okay, what do we need? Uh, will they come back? Will they come back? Don't be afraid of the Eight of, uh, eight of Cups because even though it's associated with somebody walking away, but that walking away could be just soul searching. It's very temporary, okay? Doesn't mean walking away for good. You want somebody takes time out just to think, contemplate, yeah? Will they come back? Will they come back? It's safe for you to love, open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Could be that this person might have some trust issues, maybe that things won't work out, or maybe they have a hard time opening their heart. Um, just in general to love. I'm actually put it right here. Let me get one more. Then they come back. Oops. Well, clearly we have separation. I think we have too many fell off, but um, but we have, I'm going to take them, for, I'm going to take all the four that fell off. We have, it is safe for you to love, so they might have trust issues. We have, we're in separation right now, okay, clearly. Then we have heart-to-heart -heart conversations, honestly, uh, discuss your feelings with each other. So there's going to be an opportunity for you guys to really talk, right? That's what's, when, when they do return, you're going to be able to express yourself. I feel like you have so much to say to this person. They might be a little bit closed off there, as you could see. Then we have deception. Someone is wearing a, a false self mask in this relationship. I feel like if this person acts like they don't care or they've moved on, it's not true. It's just a mask. This is, a, you're dealing with somebody who's, who's a, an avoidant, right? So, yeah. Um... All right, let's see. Let's get a couple cards from Angel Answers. Will they come back? Get more information. They probably need more time. You know, they remember, they're contemplating. That's what I saw here. Will they come back? Just one more. One more that just came. Yeah. I don't feel, oops, it says here, don't stop. So I don't think that this connection is, is ending by any means. You know, I feel like for a lot of you guys here, there's going to be a return. Um, let's get a couple from, uh, from the monology, tarot, or oracle. Let's see. There's too many, there's too many. 
Just need one or two. Will they come back? Will they come back? Time for healing, yeah. Um, they are taking some time out. We kind of saw this, and this just confirms it. And one more, but it's almost done. See here, like this is like the last cycle here on the moon. It's it's waning, yeah. So after this is going to be a new moon. So uh, there's going to be a new beginning. Not long from now. I don't feel it. I don't feel like it's going to be a long time from now before you hear from them. They have to finish this cycle of being withdrawn. And one more. Work through your fears. New moon in Scorpio. So some of you, especially if you're dealing with Scorpio here, um, you, they don't have to be. But again, they have to. Really, they have some fears. They have some things they have to release. They have. They're taking their time. But I feel like eventually they're going to be pulled back into your life. So. Um, we have Leo energy here, fire signs. We have Capricorn. Uh, we have Aquarius here, Virgo, Taurus. Yeah, I think we have all the signs, but just these that that just these energies that pre, they are predominant. Uh, what else? Yeah. So let's see when. Uh, will they come back? And then we're going to get some messages for you guys. When will they come back, Spirit? Let's use the dice here. Let's see. When will they come back? All right. Let's see. So we have 10. 10 can talk about October. Could be even this October. Okay. Uh, October, it could be the 10th of any month. Or it could be uh, 10 days, 10 months. I won't say 10 years. <laughs> 10 years is too long. That's not, that's not the case. I think the longest will be 10, ten months. And then we have nine, nine, nine days, the ninth of any month, nine weeks or nine months, or even September. Yeah. Yeah. And the last one is four, which is April or the fourth of any month or four to four days, weeks, or even months. So I think you guys, so we have April, September, and October for most of you. So I feel like a lot of you guys might hear something. We have nine that's that's the repeating here a lot. We have the nine of swords. We have um, the hermit. So, so, so the ninth. So it could be something with nine, okay? Nine days, nine weeks, months, or even can talk about September. So for whenever you watch this, it could be maybe next September. Um, let's see. Yeah. Yeah, for some of you, it's going to be in the matter of months, though. Yeah. Eight to nine months for some of you. Others of you might be quicker. In a matter of, of weeks. Yeah. So, take what resonates. What makes sense to you, right? But I think you might hear from them. They might message you and all that before they actually come back before you actually could see them uh, next time so let's get you some messages i have this this deck I, I got it the love messages no communication so let's see let's see what does your person want to say to you group one what do they want to say to you if they got it? What does your person want to say to you, group one? What do they want to say? Okay, that's too many. That just flipped. What do they want to say to you? We have, I love you so much, but I keep running from you. I don't understand why I do this. Well, take the messages that make sense to you, okay? That resonate with you. Discard what doesn't, because if it's not meant for you, if it's meant for somebody else. What else? Okay, this one. I wanted to come out. We have, I do love you. Just don't know how to show you right now. So, 
there's a special co um, connection between you guys. There's a strong pull. There's a spiritual connection of some sort, of some, some sort of a soulmate. Okay. One. Oops. We have. I hope. I hope the future will bring us together. So they they do want to come back, no matter what. And no matter what happens, my heart will always belong to you. So th this person loves you regardless of what's happening right now. I can't imagine why you guys separated. Because there's a lot of love here. And there's a deep connection. I hurt myself by letting you go. So it's true. I mean, look at this. We started the reading with Nine of Swords. So this, this your person is in pain. Don't think they're not. They are in pain. And they're very much in their head. Let's get a couple a few more messages. Please understand that I need space right now. Makes sense, right? We kind of saw this through the reading. I get scared for being honest with you. Hmm, I get scared for being honest with you. Maybe they're afraid to reveal the truth whether how they feel about you or whatever it is, something about their past. Okay, I said one more, but he gave me two more. We have, I'm afraid of hurting you. So maybe for some of you, this person stays away because they really don't want to hurt you. Maybe they don't feel like they're in the right frame of mind to be with you, to be in a relationship right now. I hide my true desires for you. Well, there you go. You see the mask here? They hide their desires for you. There you go, group one. So, so yeah, they will come back. Um, I hope you resonated. I hope you found the re this reading helpful. Don't forget to like the video if you like the reading. Subscribe if you haven't already. Until next time, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye. Group two, welcome if you've chosen Carnelian. And this card, perfect timing. It says there is the right time for you to move forward. No, I'm sorry. I can't see very well. It's a little bit dark in here. It says, this is the right time for you to move forward. Okay, perfect timing. So this is good news. All right, let's see. Um, all right. We're gonna find out first, like if your person is thinking about you, I'm on your person's mind right now. And what does your person feel for you? And and then will they come back? We have some mess messages as well from the person. So let's see. What does your person think about you? Group two. Okay. So we have the devil. Okay. We have the star, and we have the four of wands on bottom deck. Guys, the ten of pentacles. So you could be married to this person. You could have a family with this person. If you're not, this person is thinking about, about family with you, about a serious commitment, that kind of thing. So, yeah. It could be that since we start the reading with the devil, it could be that they're afraid. Maybe they're afraid. There's some fear here regard, you know, regard, regarding the distance, maybe regarding the separation right now. Maybe they're afraid to lose you. Maybe afraid that they can mend the situation between you guys, especially if you know, you're asking about a spouse. Um, the devil is also about being pulled towards something, tempted, right? Um, but here I feel like it's talking more about fear. Yeah. I can imagine maybe afraid of commitment. I mean, even sometimes people are afraid of commitment, even when they are married, you know, someone could be, can have fear of commitment, even if they are in a commitment, there's still, there's always a part of them that kind of self-sabotage and runs away and really uh, always, always has one foot out the door, that kind of thing. 
But for those of you that you're thinking of, you know, maybe you were engaged to be married or you talked about a serious relationship, this person is definitely thinking about that. Maybe something happened where things didn't work out or somebody had to run, uh, plans didn't work out, something happened here. Yeah. Um, others of you, others of you, because I know a lot of you guys are in third party. So if you are dealing with somebody who's married or you might be married, or a serious commitment, this person is very tempted by you, even though they might have a serious commitment here. Take what resonates with you guys. But I feel like they're thinking about coming towards you, okay? With the with the Knight of Cups. All right. So, how do they feel? What are their feelings? Feelings and thoughts, a similar thing, yeah? Let's see, just for the heck of it, let's see. How do they feel? What are their feelings? Oh, the sun. Two of swords, king of wands. So they have a lot of attraction, a lot of desire for you. Um, they love you with the sun here. There's definitely romantic feelings for you, but they kind of like, they're in their thoughts right now. They're in their thoughts. It's like they don't, they're resisting something, they're not taking any action, even though there's part of them here wants to take action here with the sun and and the king of wands. I see here that, that this person loves you, yeah. So we have um we have Capricorn, Aquarius, Leo, um mostly here. Mm -hmm. I think we have a little bit of everything. Yeah, we do. Air sign, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra, and Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces with the water signs, um, Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus. I think we have everything. All right, let's see. Will they come back? I feel like here it's a yes, but just let's see. Will they come back? Well, they come back. And they come back. King of Swords. The Hierophant. The Tower. And the Ace of Wands. They will come back. You know, one thing you got about your person is that incredibly stubborn. We got Gemini energy here as well with the lovers. The incre and Taurus here. They're incredibly stubborn. It shows them as a king of swords. They're trying to hold back or they're trying to, to be really logical. And there's a bit of coldness to the king of swords. The king of swords has to kind of think things through from a very logical you know, place, not emotions, not allowing their emotions to take over. Um, that's why I feel like a lot of your, some of you are dealing with air signs here. Or they might have air sign in their moon or rising. But anyway, King of Swords cannot be rushed. A King of Swords will do whatever the King of Swords wants when he is ready. He or she, doesn't matter the gender. I read in the comments uh, the other day saying, don't be so politically correct, <laughs> Aliyah. Sometimes she kind of have to, guys, because you guys, you don't know how it is when you're a reader. And sometimes it's like, I know most of my viewers are female, right? And the way I channel, if I see the M image to be a male, I would say he. If it's a woman, if it's a she. But, you know, it's just energies. And sometimes, yeah, you do have to be politically correct because people just really uh, can get triggered. So you, you kind of have to. Uh, the only reason why I, I, that comment caught my eye and I wanted to comment on it. So <laughs> I was like, you know what? She's right. I do tend to do that a lot. But you, you kind of have to. When you're a reader, you have to. Um... Because sometimes I get like uh, male, viewer, uh, male viewers or uh, LGBTQ, um, you know, people that watch my channel or even get personal readings with me. And so that's why. Anyway, so just know it's the energies. But the King of Swords, like I said, is a very stubborn energy. But he, what the good thing about the King of Swords is if when he wants something, when he's focused on something, he makes things happen. And I feel like focused on you. They have every intention of coming back. King of Swords, uh, King of Wands also is another go-getter, very ambitious, likes to chase. 
Um, so yeah, it's going to happen unexpectedly. There's a bit of a delay with the hair of friend taking their time, but all of a sudden something snaps and boom, you know, they reach out. It's out of the blue, um, come back. Because the tower is not always upheaval. It's like sudden, something you weren't expecting. Um, so yeah, it looks like a reunion here. Okay, a new a beginning for a lot of you guys. Let's get some, um, let's get some romance angels. When, I mean, will they come back? Okay, some cards, some cards just flipped. We have romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Maybe next time they come back, for those of you that really haven't talked about feelings or they haven't been very open about feelings, what you guys feel for each other, it's mutual here, I get. Worth waiting for some of you, you know, you've been waiting on your person because what you have is real. It's not imaginary. It's not just in your head. And it's not one-sided so there's more to come about this connection and something it's worth it and here the perfect timing it would happen in the perfect timing but i feel like it's unexpected okay um th this is the right time for you to move forward and i think that your person th they're going to come to that understanding or to that realization all of a sudden it's going to be an epiphany they're going to be doing something and it'll be like bam right away reaches out to you wants to see you that kind of thing when you least expect it there's way too many let me just take this one <clears throat> it is safe for you to love open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all i think you you both might have issues with trust here trusting each other trusting your feelings trusting to communicate your feelings you might see each other's true love okay so they might see you that way you might see them that way but i feel a lot of it here is really mutual feelings there's love here there's mutual mutual love mutual desire for one another i can't imagine what broke you guys apart maybe for some of you maybe this person is not available and maybe that you're not available so take what resonates is just an example but it could be a multitude of things it could be maybe you guys are from different families maybe your financial issues might have kept you you know maybe might have separated you guys maybe you might have had a, a fight a fallout or something um some of you with the devil it, it is possible maybe somebody wasn't always honest in this connection so so yeah uh what else let's get some let's get some uh, angel answers will they come back don't stop will they come back yes there you go it's a yes we got confirmation guys let's get a couple cards from the moonology will they come back we have confidence is key to success new moon in leo leo energy here i feel like yes they will i think they're working out the courage um, even if your person is very brave and somebody who's just really comes across as very confident and all that, but maybe there, there's something here they have to work up the courage. Sometimes, you know, it's like you haven't, you don't know how you're going to be received. You don't know the reaction of, the, of, of your loved one. So they have to work up some courage here. And let's get one more. We have your dreams need a practical plan, new moon in Taurus. So this person is planning, maybe trying to figure out what they're going to say, how they're going to say it, what to do, how, how to come back into your life, that kind of thing. All right, so let's see before we do the messages, when well, can you expect a return? When, oops, let's do this again. I just moved it. Let's see. When will they come back? All right, so we have seven. So it could be July, or it could be the seventh of seventh day of any month. We can talk about seven seven days, weeks, or even months. Okay. Then we have we have again seven. So something with seven here. Okay. And we have nine. So nine can talk about September. Or it could be, you know, days, weeks, or months. Here we have maybe seven to nine uh, weeks, I'm getting, for a lot of you. 
yeah I don't feel like it's gonna be a long time um, especially here with I feel like with the tower it's gonna be pretty quick and it's gonna be unexpected I heard some of you December January all right yeah so let's see the messages but like I said, a lot of you, it's going to be in the matter of two months, something like that, seven to nine weeks. All right, let's see. What does your person want to say to you? Please forgive me. I know I messed up. So whatever they did, okay, take the messages that resonate with you. Does God what doesn't? Maybe it's meant for somebody else. Okay. What does your person want to tell you, group two? Talk to me, group two's person. What do you want to say? You're having somebody who like who's not much of a talker, who has a hard time expressing themselves. There's no one else thinking about. Oh, there's no one else thinking about you all day. So there's nobody else. If you're thinking, oh, has this person moved on or whatever, even if they're in another relationship, it's not really going well, okay? But if they're single, they haven't moved on and they're thinking about you all day long. <laughs> yeah. I miss our conversations and the sound of your voice. Oh. Don't forget about me. I haven't forgotten about you. Okay. So three that fell off. We have. I am working on myself so I can come back. Please wait for me. Say they're coming back. And didn't we have wait worth waiting for? Worth waiting for. This confirmation. I never experienced this intense connection before. Maybe this person has a doesn't really know how to love, you know, maybe have trust issues with love, trusting their giving their heart away, that kind of thing. I think about you so much, it's scare it scares me. It's scaring me. Wow. Yeah? They're very much on your you're very much on their mind. I mean, look how we started the reading group two. One more. One more. No other compare, no other compares to you. And the other one that flipped, it says our connection is complicated. There are issues out of our control. So maybe there's some serious obstacles between you guys. You know, that's uh, maybe that's what your person is thinking about. Like I said, they're very much, uh, very much in their head. And for some of you, bottom deck energy, I feel like spirit is starting to to say this to you guys for some of you uh one of the reasons your person stays away is says i think that you are better off without me some of them this is just you know thoughts that go through their heads through their mind so yeah that's all i have for you guys group two it's good news they're coming back so so yeah i hope you like the reading i hope you resonated please like the video if you did and if you didn't resonate choose another group Thank you so much for watching. Until next time. Bye-bye. Group 3 welcome if you've chosen this card summer and the um, and Jade's crystal. So it says here summer. Maybe something happens with summer. Maybe summer is significant to you guys. Maybe you met in summertime. Your birthdays fall in the summer. Maybe you will <coughs> come back or reunite with each other in summertime. It says everything that you're asking for become, becomes yours in the summertime. So something with summer. So we already have time in here. All right. So let's see. Is your person thinking about you? And what are they thinking about? So the first card that just flipped really quick was the Six of Swords. So some of you are at a distance from each other, whether it's emotional or physical distance. I think a lot of you kind of maybe live far away from one another. Let's see. Or maybe your person is thinking that you moved on. Two of Cups. Maybe you moved on to another relationship. Um, that kind of thing. Knight of Wands. 
Six of Wands. I feel like for some of you, there was an ending here. Bottom deck energy, we have the death. So there was an ending for some of you. You know, maybe you moved away, they moved away. They, you moved to another relationship, they moved on to another re connection. So, yeah, they do think about you, definitely. Um, let's, let's see, let's see what, what they feel, because this could be... This could be them moving on to another connection. It's a possibility. Maybe you, you, you have, because it's very hard to tell with the cards. This is general reading. I might have to see how the, the layout goes before I, I can pretty much know a little bit more. In here, this, like I said, either you or them have moved on. Um, let's see. What do they feel for you right now, group three? What are their feelings? one more card what are their feelings we have the five of wands the three of swords the four of pentacles and the six of cups so their feelings is yeah i get a lot of like like a broken up thing here you know they kind of they're a bit conflicted they kind of kind of go back and forth they're heartbroken so they must have loved you because if they didn't love you, if they didn't feel nothing, they would not be heartbroken. Um, and then, but they're holding back, you know, they may be holding on very closely to the memories that you guys share, the memories they have of you. They feel very nostalgic. Maybe you have a deep bond between the two of you. They haven't let go of you. No matter how things seem, they haven't let go of you because they're quite possessive over those memories and even that pain to hold it on to the pain here so with the three of swords i feel like they love you and i think they would want a second chance here bottom deck we have the ace of wands i think if they're given a second chance they would take it yeah um so if they have moved on if they have moved on there's still no one compares to your group three and they wish things would have been different and they do think about your past and what uh, the, the beautiful memories, the times you guys shared and they would want a new beginning. They wish for a new beginning, all right? And they're heartbroken, so obviously they love you because if they didn't love you, they won't be this conflicted and this, this much pain, right? Now, if they haven't moved on to someone else, they very much think about you. You could have moved on and losing you is heart-wrenching for them right um if neither one of you has moved on just know that they are thinking about you as much as you're thinking about them because two of cups is a card of reciprocity i was like i'm not gonna mispronounce this word so and they um they want to come back they want to come back but there was an ending maybe some of you the ending was beyond your control maybe they had to move back to their country or whatever they had to move away and that kind of like you guys just drifted apart it just ended the connection but here we have summertime so perhaps some of you guys maybe you have a chance in summer maybe they will travel to you or you travel to them though or there will be a reconciliation some sort of something happening here in summer um will they come back just know regardless of what's happening between you guys you're very much in their heart and, in, and on their mind. Will they come back, group three? Is there, will they return? Will they come back? Ace of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, uh, the Sun, and Ace of Cups. Yes, yes. And it looks like here you're waiting for them with a Nine of Pentacles. I feel like, yes, they will come back they will you will hear from them um yeah we have a lot of cups which summer is very strong here especially with leo energy which is july and august okay uh and then the cups also six of cups can talk about june right and the two of cups also is summer um yeah so I feel like, yes, so either you run it, so I, we don't know if there's going to be like such as like a reconciliation, but you like seeing them again, it looks like yes here, guys. It really looks, it's, it's promising here. Um, it's not a message. I feel like more of a return than anything. 
like meeting, that kind of thing. I mean, no communication, but more like meeting. It's possible you might run into each other, uh, that kind of thing. Let's see. Um, will they come back? Group three. Will group three's person come back? Worth waiting for. Yeah. It says divine timing is at work in your love life. Summer could also be the maybe the season you guys maybe parted ways. Will they come back? Heart to heart conversations. Uh, honestly discuss your feelings with each other but it came out in the reverse which means there's so much left that and the deck was in reverse so there's a lot that's left unsaid between you guys a lot that needs to be discussed and that kind of thing there's some unfinished business between you guys okay we have forgiven and learning as you release and heal the past you experience more love in your present moment I see this card when it's a person who has some family issues that they have to stay away. Maybe family is in the way. Um, sometimes even another relationship is in the way. Then we have true love. It says this is a romance of a lifetime. So they see, they have deep feelings for you. Yeah. And we have give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. I think some of you maybe didn't even have a chance for this connection to get off the ground. That's what it looks like here. You know, that maybe they want to explore this connection to become something more, you know. But there was some sort of an ending. And the ending doesn't have to be permanent ending. It could be just temporary, you know. Um, guys, like I said, um, those of you that don't, don't know me, but those of you that know me, you know that I have amazing stories sometimes, even for re returning clients, you know, that three, four, or five years, you know, they would come back and say, you know what? So and so and I reunited and we're back together and uh, we're engaged, <laughs> you know, after years of no communication. So anything can happen, really. I don't want to give you guys false hope, but it really does happen. And I've experienced it. I've seen it. So, but here, there's a lot of love here, regardless how things seem. Uh, and with the Ace of Cups, it's like a new beginning in love, a reconciliation of some sort. Yeah. Um, and you feel this. I feel like a lot of you feel it in your gut. You know, you're waiting for this. You're anticipating this reunion or this return from your person. Uh, let's get some uh, angel answers. Well, will they come back? Will they come back? Yes. There you go. From your angels. And... Will they come back? Forgiveness. Maybe some of you have to forgive somebody or they have to forgive you for something. But maybe you have to forgive maybe the, this back and forth or whatever it needs. Again, here we have forgiveness. So somebody here maybe needs to forgive their past, some issues that they're dealing with, wrestling with. So yeah, let's get some monology. Come back. Maybe come back. Balance spirituality and practicality. Full moon in Pisces. And some of you are dealing with somebody in Pisces here. Um, this is, I feel like, you know, you got to be a bit practical. Pisces is a dreamy sign. Um, so to be, both of you need to be realistic and you need to have a practical plan should you if this connection comes back around you both need to discuss things how having heart-to-heart -heart conversation and really plan for the future how is this gonna how is this gonna work and where do we go from here need to, a practical plan not just daydreaming about the connection or the relationship and not actually taking steps into making it happen right then we expect powerful change new moon eclipse so there's going to be changes coming up about this connection so so yeah, um, am I forgetting something here? Okay, let's see. What can you expect to return? We saw summer. Summer is very um, 
important here. Let's see. Okay, we have eight, which is summertime, August. Eight also, August. So maybe so you guys, August and July here is very important. And we did see summer. Or for some of you, maybe the quickest, quickest time could be seven to eight days, weeks, or months. But honestly, I feel a lot of you might hear from, see this person in the summertime. Yeah. So for those of you, you know, in Southern Hemisphere, this might be coming up very soon, your summer. Yeah. Others of you, Northern Hemisphere, that's going to be next year. Yeah, so let's get some messages for you guys from your person. What does your person want to say to you? All right, let's see. What does your person want to say to you, group three? What does your person want to say to you? Okay, some cards just flipped. Let's see, what flipped? What does your person want to say to you? Come on, I know some cards just flipped. Oh, well, I lost it. This is 80 cards, so it's going to be hard to find them. Let's see. What does your person want to say to you? Okay. You are the one and only. Beautiful. Okay. I'm trying to be someone you can trust. So what could have happened? This person might may have had a lot of time during your separation to think, I wish you would knock on my door. Aww. Maybe they wish you can just take that first step. Yeah. I am learning a spiritual lesson. So they're going through a lot. And with the death card, it's just a card of transformation also. It's not just a card of endings. It's also transformation. Maybe your person is, is going through an ego death and be more spiritual. We have, I was selfish and immature. Please forgive me. So there's something here. We, we got two cards of forgiveness. So maybe there's somebody here that needs to be forgiven. What does your person want to say to you? All right. I feel empty without you. This is an over between us. I'm coming back for you. Well, there you go. Another confirmation. I get scared for being honest with, with you. I get scared for being honest with you. Hmm. Interesting. So maybe that's why they, maybe there's something that they're holding back. Maybe they're afraid to reveal the truth to you, whatever that truth is, whether it's their feelings, something they did behind your back, something about their past, something they're withholding from you. So take what resonates. Not all messages can apply to you. So just take what resonates and maybe other messages are meant for somebody else. One more, one more. All right. Two more, I guess. I'm afraid of hurting you. Maybe the truth they're withholding for some of you, maybe they're, they're afraid to be honest, maybe because they're, they don't want to hurt you. you know? I am so in love with you. You are so perfect to me. Well, there you go. There's a lot of love here, and I feel like it's mutual with the Two of Cups between you guys. Uh, bottom deck. I struggle with revealing my true feelings and emotions, but I love you more than you think. Oh, that's beautiful. There you go, group three. So they're all coming back. So I hope you guys resonated. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the reading, please like the video, subscribe if you haven't already. Until next time, bye-bye.